will read out a statement. Uh, we will not any take any questions after uh, FS finishes his uh, uh, reading out the statement. Sir, the floor is yours. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. On the 14th of February 2019, a suicide terror attack was conducted by a Pakistan-based terrorist organization, the jesh e Mohammed, leading to the martyrdom of 40 brave Jawans of the CRPF. The jesh e Mohammed has been active in Pakistan for the last two decades, and it is led by Masood Azhar with its headquarters in Bahawalpur. This organization, which is proscribed by the United Nations, has been responsible for a series of terrorist attacks including on the Indian Parliament in December 2001 and the Pathan Court Air Base in January 2016. Information regarding the location of training camps in Pakistan and in Pakistan-occupied Jammu and Kashmir has been provided to Pakistan from time to time. Pakistan, however, denies their existence. The existence of such massive training facilities capable of training hundreds of jihadis could not have functioned without the knowledge of the Pakistan authorities. India has been repeatedly urging Pakistan to take action against the jesh e Mohammed to prevent jihadis from being trained and armed inside Pakistan. Pakistan has taken no concrete action to dismantle the infrastructure of terrorism on its soil. Credible intelligence was received that the jesh e Mohammed was attempting other suicide terror attacks in various parts of the country and the Fidayeen jihadis were being trained for this purpose. In the face of imminent danger, a preemptive strike became absolutely necessary. In an intelligence-led operation in the early hours of today, India struck the biggest training camp of the jesh e Mohammed in Balakot. In this operation, a very large number of jesh e Mohammed terrorists, trainers, senior commanders, and groups of jihadis who were being trained for fidai in action were eliminated. This facility at Balakot was headed by Maulana Yusuf Azhar, alias Ustad Ghori, the brother-in-law of Masood Azhar, chief of the JEM. The government of India is firmly and resolutely committed to taking all necessary measures to fight the menace of terrorism. Hence, this non-military preemptive action was specifically targeted at the jesh e Mohammed camp. The selection of the target was also conditioned by our desire to avoid civilian casualties. The facility is located in thick forest on a hilltop far away from any civilian presence. As the strike has taken place only a short while ago, we are awaiting further details. The government of Pakistan had made a solemn commitment in January 2004 not to allow its soil or territory under its control to be used for terrorism against India. We expect that Pakistan lives up to its public commitment and takes follow-up action to dismantle all JEM and other camps and hold the terrorists accountable for their actions. Thank you. That concludes the briefing. Thank you all for joining. We are not taking any questions. Any questions. Thank you. We, thank you. Ladies we, ladies. we will. No questions. We will, we, we, will, we will put out a statement in Hindi immediately after this. We are not taking any questions. And we will, we will update you. We will update you on more information as and when they are made available to us. Can you